guys. I haven't posted in a long time, and I said it again and again. Um, and this time, you know, essentially, I wanted to do like a whole summer vacation series, and it's more so gonna be in the style of a day in life. But then I realized I can't wait that long, you know. So, you know, my my finals are sort of like going on this week and next week. But thankfully, they're slowly to shine. You know, they're slow, slowly tapering down. Okay, which give me this um, some time to sort of like vlog a little bit. So I thought, hey, what's better than um, shooting a day in life prior to summer um, in Beijing? And you know, my day usually start um, like normal time. I'm not like. As much as I want to, I haven't been waking up at like 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. Um, I also don't like really sleeping that late just because I feel like I'm losing time. So today I woke up at 8:30, which not not great, but at the same time, you know, it's I guess it's just normal. Today is gonna be sort of like a typical day that would hypothetically keep me fulfilled and um, yeah I I'm going to uh, do some fasted cardio as you can see I'm just drinking coffee because who doesn't need to drink coffee honestly like first thing in the morning and okay so fasted cardio outside I'll be cycling with city bikes and then do some work um, and eat something fast until when I really need to eat. Well, while I was fasting, I'll probably do some work and um, um, yeah, workout is probably gonna be later in the evening and tonight, tonight I have a class, our history class. So until then, we'll see how this all lay out. What's up? Um, so I just got back from my morning cardio Boy, that was a long session, like fasted cardio. Um, I was cycling for about, I think 80 kilometers um, round trip. And, you know, it was pretty good. Uh, the, the last couple of times, I really couldn't finish it because it was at night and I was already very fatigued by then. But this time, because it's first thing in the morning, it was, um, like I think my energy level was um, pretty steady and because I was caffeinated you know I, I could you know I could accomplish that um, but yeah there's still like more workout um, I think back workout to be done later tonight I, I don't know how the workout is gonna be since uh, I did spend like a decent amount of time on the road um, so Right now, it's quite important to uh, relax my muscle tissue and replenish nutrition, I guess. Um, so, I'll see you guys later. All right, so um, I did some work and I'm gonna um, take a break from the screen and then go buy something to eat um, in a place pretty close to my neighborhood. And yeah, I'll probably like schedule the workout um, once I ate something like in an hour or something. I'm still like uh, fasted from when I wake up. So doesn't feel too um, fatigued or anything really, which is pretty surprising. Um, but yeah, um, basically now I'm just trying to like fast um, as long as possible, but not to the point where I feel like I have to binge. So I think that has, you know, worked out pretty well for me at least. Um, but like coffee is so essential though. Um, if I don't have any sort of caffeine in my system, I don't know if I can do this, you know? so. It just really depends on your schedule, I guess. Okay, 
so before the actual workout, I think I might just include this Procreate time-lapse uh, back muscle drawing to illustrate basically the component of the back muscle and the part where I use green is essentially the part I want to improve in thickness. So that meaning the lower back thickness as well as the middle part, which I think in the end um, I highlighted. Yeah, right there. So I first just warm up lightly with a pretty light resistant band. I find resistant band to be a lot more useful than like weight um, in terms of warming up. Yeah, it's pretty basic stuff, you know, just warming up the rotator cuff because if I don't, I may run the risk of injury. And especially in uh, any sort of pulling movement, it's quite important to have the shoulder stability in check. Now I start this um, back workout with bent over um, rear delt flies. Well, I guess not bent over, but rear delt flies. And you know, now because I can't really go to the gym, I'm stuck at home with some free weights, uh, you know, not terribly heavy. I figured the best way to engage with the muscle fully is by targeting my uh, weakness first that meaning rear delts and in terms of overall de development of the back rear delt is pretty important now moving on to the second exercise which is sort of a hybrid of hamstring um, workout as well as a lower back one but i intentionally focused a bit more on the lower back since it's a smaller muscle group that tend to be neglected a lot you know, it's actually part of the uh, core strength. Um, and I didn't work on it enough. I mean, I did a little bit when I was, you know, back in the deadlifting days, but now it's more uh, moderate weight. Now moving on to the actual uh, back development. Um, started off with assisted pull-ups. I mean, thankfully I have like a pull-up bar in my house that can hold my weight. Uh, but you know, nothing really much to it, but I chose narrow grip um, just to kind of target the thickness of the back a bit more. Now warming up with a pretty moderate weight um, bent over row. Um, I think I started to incorporate this um, exercise in my back training days more than ever just because um, I think it's a great exercise for upper back development and you can have um, lots of variations of it by having your grip to be you know narrower or wider. I choose a wider grip just because you know uh, my intention is to uh, target my upper back. And for this exercise, I think you can go relatively heavy uh, because you have your core to st uh, stabilize your um, torso. But at the same time, you gotta make sure that you engage with your core. Otherwise, you may damage um, your lower back, which is just something to keep in mind all the time. Moving on to the next exercise, um, actually this is a superset, I don't even know what this exercise is called honestly, but targeting the back and targeting the trap with a, a resistance band. And you know, some people view trap as like a muscle group, but I think it's, you know, I train it with my back. Now I'm using band to do um, rows, basically, um, standing position, I just couldn't find a proper weight uh, dumbbell to do that exercise in the house. But I think band works just fine as long as you um, concentrate on your lats and don't shortcut the range of motion. I think you can get a pretty decent pump. Now moving on to biceps. I kind of just neglected arms. Um, at school, but I think it's a good opportunity at home to sort of like 
um, fine-tune arm development as well. So um, first is a um, super set of barbell um, curl as well as like a lighter band curl. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, try to uh, don't cheat with range of motion, but sometimes I do anyways. And the second uh, bicep exercise would be seated um, dumbbell curl. I'm choosing pretty lightweight um, and doing relatively higher reps uh, just because the barbell curl was already um, a lot heavier than expected. And this one is really trying to um, get the blood to flow in my arm. And the last exercise of the day is seated hammer curl. And hammer curl, I put it in the end also with like a pretty lighter weight to also sort of engage with my forearm muscle a little bit. And, you know, and to target the outer side of the bicep muscle to give it more of a fuller appearance. Yeah, nothing much to it. Enjoy the workout. Man, holy cow, this meal took me a long time. Okay, so this is essentially what I'll be, what I'll be having tonight. Uh, pretty much ketogenic. Um, some egg drop soup with squash, um, egg, avocado, bacon, spinach, and some um, sauteed onion, and a protein shake, uh, which is raw egg white, uh, sugar-free Greek yogurt, and some cacao powder. So I just had my dinner. That was a pretty large meal, pretty filling. And so that will conclude my video. Later tonight I'll have my uh, online course and this is basically final week, you know, last week. And I'll just have to power through it and um, hope you guys are doing great. You know, if not great, at least still practice social distancing and protect yourself. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up and share it, subscribe to my channel.